our mission is to take him to join the dynasty families, not to help the poor Kenyans. Yes. He came here rubbishing the, dy the dynasties. Yes, we accepted that actually this man is our, own, is, is our man. He's going to fight for us. But my question is, is he fighting for the ordinary Kenyans? He is not. So Ruto took us for a ride. Can we say that it is God who chose him there? No. God gave us the what? The free will to decide who to choose. So Kenyans made their deci de decisions. Even though the Kenyans made their decisions, the ones the Kenyans decided, the ones that the Kenya Kenyans chose is not the one who is in the office. Yeah. And if I'm telling lies, open for us, Saba. And we shall finish all these things. Shebukati, he was still waiting. He is appointed time to be appointed into the government. Because of the big role he played, because of the big role he played for the current president during the elections. And I know there are some things that he was promised. We all do understand as Kenyans that because he played, he played a very major role in ensuring that Ruto gets into the office. So Ruto has to give back. He's still looking where to take him. But maybe, probably, an opportunity has not arisen. But he, now, he has Chebukati in his mind. He has Chebukati in his what? In his mind to reward him for what he did what? For what he did. And because the president wants to make sure that his cronies, and that is why you see the issue of the, the CS, you see, he wants to reward them for what, what they did. So it's a time of giving back. So we know it is not, it, 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 it is not about if, it is just about when Chebukati shall be appointed to any of those offices. We have seen uh, Isaac Hassan also is making his way. Chibikatu will also come, for sure. And that is where we are heading with Kenyans. So this is why I was appealing with my fellow Kenyans, and especially the youth. Because it is the youth that they were taken. They were taken by the wave of the hustler. Today they are accepting that they were given a road deal. Our brothers in the Boda Boda sector, our Mamambogas, who were they promised that their government is, shall be formed by them. And we, are suffering. we have not seen even one Boda Boda, not even one Mamamboga. That is where we are. So that, that means we are not heading in the right direction. We are not heading in the right direction, so it is upon Kenyans, and especially the youth, because we, we are the ones who have got the majority. We are the ones who have got the voice. It is us to come up together and make a decision on what destination we are supposed to take this country. Like South Africa. And if not, then like there's a statement that my president said. He said, he said, Kenya hakuna wajinga. But in the statement, when I did my analysis, it was the other way around. <laughs> it is the other way round. And that is what he did, and he made his way. So Kenyans, let us wake up. Let us, let us all wake up. If not, the saying will go down that we have so many foolish Kenyans because they cannot see beyond their nose. They cannot see beyond their what? They cannot see they are beyond their nose. And that is why we are in danger. If we cannot see beyond, in our, beyond our nose, we know that there is danger ahead of us. So let us open our eyes. Kwa hivyo mina sema ya kwamba ndugi zangu, mimi hayo na mineza kusema, lakini hii ni siyasa, ni asasa inachezwa. Wengine wanayelewa, wengine hawiyelewe. But the truth is, the man has a mission. He has a mission. But a mission is best known to him, not to Kenyans. 
our mission is to take him to join the dynasty families, not to help the poor Kenyans. Yes. He came here rubbishing the, dy the dynasties. Yes, we accepted that actually this man is our, own, is, is our man. He's going to fight for us. But my question is, is he fighting for the ordinary Kenyans? He is not. So Ruto took us for a ride. That is a ride that he has taken our youth. And so if you cannot wake up and see that, more are on their way. Some of them, we are not, we are not going to tell you. Because we know where this Kenya is heading. We know where this Kenya is heading. But to summarize all these ones, those people with the qualities of leadership, the people with the quality of leadership, leadership comes from God. And if really leadership comes from God, and today we have a leader in an office, can we say that it is God who chose him there? No. God gave us the what? The free will to decide who to choose. So Kenyans made their deci de de decisions. Even though the Kenyans made their decisions, the ones the Kenyans decided, the ones that the Kenya Kenyans chose is not the one who is in the office. Yeah. And if I'm telling lies, open for us, Saba, and we shall finish all these things. Then we shall know then who is supposed to be there and who is not supposed to be there. Thank you so much. May God bless you.